Well, hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning the 22nd of February. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. So you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign or your rising sign as well. Thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find the new channel. Really appreciate that. If this is your first time, know that this is a spirit-driven reading. We're channeling messages from the army of guides and ascended masters that are in my space. Thanks, spirit. Now, if this is your first time, <clears throat> you might also notice that I will on occasion get messages from past loved ones and different guides that are coming in. Um, they're pushy, they laugh, they sing, they cry, they show me things I cannot unsee. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a sip of my morning quadruple espresso here. Mmm, so good. All right, so as a matter of fact, somebody's, somebody's relative is here. Uh, uh, woman, older, past, uh, she was still dyeing her hair red. Uh, she was very opinionated. Oh my gosh. Uh, she's not giving me a name. Very, uh, <laughs> okay. She's telling me, you bake together, but she's not really a good cook. She was involved in some kind of organization. That was like a social network for her. She had lots of uh, gal friends. Okay. Anything else you can tell me, ma'am? Well, she just wanted to say, she just wanted to pop in uh, really bright, brightish red hair. Um, I'm sorry, that's all I'm getting. All right, <clears throat> know that um, when, we, when we transition, when we die, we don't end. And really the reason why we have so many different spirits coming in, um, they're everywhere. Because our energy is always, it is, and it has been, and always will be. All right. Okay, spirits, what do we have for our lovely Virgos for the period beginning... 22nd of February. What do we got? All right, we're starting out with the Seven of Swords. We've got the Three of Swords. We have the Hangman. Cool. We have the Four of Coins. The Empress. We have Judgment. We'll start with those. I'll pull a couple more. Okay. <clears throat> so, with the Swords, with that um, Seven of Swords, it's like you're starting off the period. You feel like um, something's been stolen from you. You know, um, it doesn't have to be a physical stealing. Maybe somebody has stolen your time, um, has stolen the truth. It's causing you um, disconnect. Somebody might be invading your space. All right. Um, <clears throat> and you feel you might feel betrayed. You know, there's be a, a betrayal. It could be in a relationship. Uh, the pain of truth, all right? Um, some kind of hardship. And because I said it could be a mental hardship. Maybe you've been disillusioned by this person. Maybe you've put this person on a pedestal. Um, could be a job site where you have a, uh, a company who has bamboozled you in some way. 
maybe they have um, sell, sold you a line of goods and when you find out that this isn't uh, all it's cracked up to be, okay, uh, it could be uh, a job that you're, you were at where, you know, they kind of gave you the, well, we're, we're having a merger or we're doing this, but we're, it's not going to impact, you know, X, Y, Z area. And then you find out that your particular department has been downsized and that, you know, pain of truth, you know, and you're coming in with, you know, this whole waiting, 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 you've got the, the, the hangman. So you might have delays for those of you who are um, looking to get into a new, a different place to live. Uh, there might be some delays there. So, okay. So spirit is saying that one of, uh, at least one of you, uh, has a situation with a landlord where, um, there's some tension with the landlord there in the living situation. Uh, you might have some delays with a remodeling project. You're not getting the commitment that you need in this situation from relationship, whether the relationship be love relationship or from a work or family relationship. Uh, you're looking for someone to commit, um, and, you know, and, and fulfill their promise. It doesn't uh, look like they're doing that. Uh, this isn't a... Um, you might have some delays in finding new work at the beginning of the period. But, you know, you really do these last few cards. Oh, such beautiful cards. Uh, okay. So Spirit is telling me, chillax. Chillax. Relax. Go take a walk. Um, clear your head. Clear your mind. Clear your emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. And if you can clear your emotions and... Try to eliminate some of that Earth A energy, you know, that despair, that, you know, uh, feelings of worry, envy. Oh, my gosh, there's a few people uh, you're dealing with uh, that might be envious of you and kind of happy that you're going through a tough time. I'm so sorry about that. Mm. You know, um, if you can... Try to release and not get caught up in a lot of the, the negative minutia, as I'm going to call it. You're really opening yourself up to a better time. You know, tough, you know some hardship is, end, is ending here. Tough times that you might have suffered are over. And you're walking into uh, a period with, with um, like financial security. You've got the Empress, you know, and the Empress... The Empress is about abundance. The Empress is about material wealth. Um, the Empress is about moving. So moving forward, you know, maybe not a physical move. It could be an emotional move as you migrate from the Earth A or the negative emotions to the Earth B. You've got, uh, but you have moves and res um, renovations. Uh, you might be moving into a bigger place. Uh more stability, more happiness in your relationships, more security moving forward into job. So if you had a recent loss, the door is opening for something new. You've got the judgment card there. And judgment is about opportunity. You know, for those of you who are migrating from the negativity to the earth be, which is peace, love, joy, happiness, gratitude, okay? Um, you're moving towards a spiritual awakening as, as we have shifted into that age of Aquarius. You know, this might be, um, for those of you drawn to property that are moving, you might be drawn to a property that needs some renovation. And again, major property decisions, um, reconciling in relationship, especially the relationship to yourself. You know, put your mask on before you help others. You know, this is about finding out 
especially if you're opening to that spiritual door, finding out who it is that you are, what it is that you want, and realizing that you are just a spiritual being having an earthly experience, and that spirit is pure love. Okay? So getting more towards that vibration, this is about successes coming in, finance and money, uh, obviously money and finance, business, uh, just moving forward in a very positive way. If you do your homework and let, let go of some of the negative here. We've got the Ace of Rods. Ace of Rods, new beginnings. You know, happier times coming. Needs for a, 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 a means to celebrate. Creativity. Uh, creative period. Ideas flowing. Uh, creative uh, work opportunities. Um, some travel. For some of you. Okay. All right. One more. <laughs> I love this card. Does he look happy? Does this guy look happy to you? Of course he does. This is the Nine of Cups. Um, some, some people will call this the wish card. You know, time to make your wish. Time to um, put out into the universe what it is that you want. All right, and, and, and I'm going to just quickly just tell you, I have somebody uh, who, who, has, who has been bombarding, was bombarding my, one of my other readings saying, I will accept nothing less than the million dollars, a uh, multi-million dollar lottery win. That was their wish. And they wouldn't accept anything less. Well, you know what? Take what the universe gives you and be appreciative. You know, instead of wishing for, I'm going to only wish for, I have more money than I can spend. And this way, when the money comes in, it doesn't matter the source. And there's plenty of opportunity for source money to come to you. You see where I'm going here, kids? Don't limit yourself to just the multi-million dollar lottery win. If you're going to make a wish, say, I have more money than I can ever spend. Checks come to me all the time. Money comes out of, you know, out of nowhere. I get free stuff all the time. And, you know, that's what I do. And I do get a lot of free stuff. I do get a lot of, I get checks that I don't even know what they're for. And I'm going, why am I getting, okay, go well, just cash it, be grateful. You know, happens. Okay, what do we got for the card here? We've got Saint Germain, and he's saying, work your magic. You are the magic. Once you realize that you are the magic, that what your emotions that you hold in your space are energy in motion, and what you vibrate out, you, would, you ask the universe, hey, this is how I feel, this is what I want. This is what I want more of. This experiences that, that solidify this feeling Okay, well, if you feel delicious and maybe you can find that in your first cup of your hot beverage and go, ah, oh, what a gasm, you're already starting your day off in a good spot. All right, so feel happier, you know, get into that vibration, get into that earth view vibration and what comes back to you, boy, is it good. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time.